if you uh, play here, so what should be printed here? Uh, zero, one, two, three, four. It should print that. So it is printing here. You can see here zero, one, two, three, four. And what is this? This is blank space. This uh, nothing we have printed. Just, uh, double inverted comma we have given here for that. Okay. So this is while loop. Now another loop is where, where we don't have to uh, give i equal to i plus one. You can do this uh, this condition and increment the con operator operation. You can do it one statement. So that uh, we comment this first. Okay, so here the format of for loop is like for initialization. Like here we did for i uh, while loop, we did i is equal to zero. Okay, i is equal to zero is we have done. So similar thing we can do in here int uh, uh, int uh, another variable will take not i another variable will take j is equal to zero. In j is equal to here we can declare uh, with for loop also j variable we can declare what type of uh, variable it is we can declare in while loop uh, sorry for loop and then semicolon condition first is initialization initialization then semicolon then condition j less than Five, sorry, five. let us take J less than five. In while loop condition, we are, we are taking J less than five, then semicolon, and this uh, increment operation. I is equal to I plus one. So then we are adding a little bit. I equal to, sorry, J plus plus. Now see here, I is equal to I plus one can be written as I plus plus. I plus plus and semicolon. This is say I plus plus is same as I is equal to I plus one. Okay. So we are incrementing I by one. Similarly, here we are doing J plus plus, or here we can write it as J is equal to J plus one. Okay, so what we are doing? We are doing three operations here. First, initialization, then condition, and implement. Implement of the uh, index, you can say. Index variable. And here we can write. Our statement debug dot log here in place of j is equal to j plus one, you can just write j plus plus. It is same. Okay. So here how the execution will be done? Just a moment, if you can hang that in. Okay, here it is running on me. Let us talk to you. While you need to edit the running, if you do something operation in Visual Studio, na, sometimes it may like, hang. 
uh, will do the uh, whatever we write here. It will compile, but it will hang sometimes. Better to stop in Wiki Editor and then the editing uh, Visual Studio. So this is the false statement. Means whatever we have written in three four lines here, all the things can be done in single line here. Like uh, J is equal to zero initialization is uh, going on, then condition and increment operation. Okay, so here. How the execution will do? Here it will come here. It will initialize uh, j variable to zero. Then it will check j is less than five. J is less than five. Yes, it is true. After that, it will not go here. After checking this condition, it will come here. Okay, so execution just. Uh, uh keep in mind like uh, initialization is going on here first it would come here then it will check here and then execute this and then it will come here and make it j plus plus okay so first it will be j is equal to zero j is less than uh, five it is true then zero will be printed then it will make this Excuse me. So here, J will be becoming one here. Now from here, it will come here. One is less than five. True. So one will be printed. Then this will come here and make uh, J value is equal to earlier value plus one. That is two. So two is less than five. It will print this here. Again, it will come here and make j value is equal to three. It will check here three is less than five. True. Then it will print this three. Then again come here, make it j is equal to four. Check here four is less than five. True. Then it will print four. Then it will come here and make j is equal to five now. Now it will check here five is less than five. False. So it will come out here, and whatever statements are there here, that will be executed. You can okay. check. It. Run this program in init editor, and we should get zero, one, two, three, four. If we have not written the program of C sharp script uh, according to the rules of that C sharp script, then it will some show some error here in red color. So we are not getting any uh, error in red color. That means we are going properly in that C sharp script. And if any error is there, that you have to debug. You have to resolve those errors. I got zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. So let it stop here. Uh, in the editor, and then only you can do it here. So this is all about for and while loop, else uh, statements, and what we will spend very well. Now we will see uh, functions or method. Okay. Uh, so whatever uh, let us take we will keep that. Hmm. 
so the this start is also a method or a function start is also a function this update is also a function or method so it's also called as okay so the format of this uh, any method or function is first it will be access specifier access specifier then return value then function name then parameters and then whatever function you are writing so this is the format this is just ignore this uh, stars here this is for just for comment okay so first access specifier return value function name and parameters okay so here you can see this is one function so here access specifier is missing so if access specifier is not written then it is uh, considered as private two access specifier we have studied private and public public here if access specifier is not defined or uh, written here that means it is private public. sorry pub, uh, private it will be like if access specifier is not written that means it is private just rem um, remember this okay so it can be written as like this second is void here v o i d void void means returning value so void means it is not returning any value it is not returning any value from wherever it is called it is not returning any value and start is function name and in bracket we are not giving any parameter so it can be blank also okay so this is the format and this is the one start function now this is uh, uh, written already but we can create our own functions also hello ah hello Yes. I think there was some issue from my side. I think. Okay. Okay. So we can create our own functions. Let us create one function here. Like uh, private. Access specifier, returning value. Let us take. We are returning some value in. Okay, void. We are not writing. That means we are returning some value. And let us take sum or addition. Function name addition. Then here in bracket we have to write parameters. So parameters also. Uh, how many parameters we will need? two parameters whatever addition we are doing of two variables that two variables will make so let us take int uh variable 1 comma int you have to define what type of uh, variable it is okay so we are defining that variable 2 then here we do the operation what will be defining declaring another variable int result and 
result is equal to variable one plus variable. Two. Okay. So variable one is having some value. Variable two is having some value. And we are adding those two variables and assigning it in result variable, and we will return result. Okay. Now, uh, this function can be called. This function can be called from any function inside this script. This function addition can be called from any function inside this script. Because it is private, access specifier for this function we have written as private. So it will be called. It can be called from any function inside this script only. So we we'll call it from. Just we are calling it from start. Okay. So we are defining one variable. Let us say in x is equal to. Ten uh, int y is equal to twenty, and let us take another variable sum. Int sum. We are not assigning any value here. Sum. And now we want to add these two variables x and y. Okay, so we we'll directly call that function sum. Equal to addition x comma y like this. Very difficult first time, but to see here. Uh, first, we have defined this function, created this function here. This is first is access specifier private. Second is. Uh, This function will return which value, data type. Then third is addition, that is function name. Then these two uh, parameters are but variables, parameters. Okay. So we have to also declare what type of uh, variable it is or parameter it is. So it is nothing but int type. And We are having another uh, variable here in result, and we are adding those two variables and assigning it in result variable, and we are returning result. So what we'll do when we call it from this statement? So addition x comma y. What is the value of x? Ten. What is the value of y? Twenty. So addition function will be called the Execution pointer will go here. Variable one will have value ten because we have passed x is equal to ten. So it will be replaced in this variable one. And y is having value twenty. Okay, so this twenty will be assigned to this variable two. And those two variables, that is ten plus twenty, will be added, and result will be thirty. And this result thirty will be returned and will be assigned in this sum variable. Now see here, we can call it any number of any number of times. Like uh, if any another variable is there, int. Uh, add. So we can call it again. Add is equal to addition sum comma x like this. Also, we can do. Okay. So whenever it is called, we have to give only two variables, two parameters. This is first. And after comma, this is second, and both parameters should have data type of int because we have declared it as int when it is called. 
Okay, again you can assign it here. Now this uh, addition function can be called from this update function also. If any other function is there, like let us take uh, private void. print value another function we are creating print value and we are passing here int printing value you can create any number of uh, functions inside this print so print value will be we are just printing value debug dot log printing value This is another type of function. This function is just doing addition. This function will be doing only printing uh, uh, functionality. So we can call it from here. Just it will print. Uh, see here, it is not returning any value. It is void function. Void means it is not returning any value. So here you can call it as uh, call it like this. Print. print value and add so what it will do whatever value of add it is there it will print by going into this okay so the execution will be like this uh, let us create uh, this and have some value only see here uh, it will start from this point it will assign this thing value to x 20 value to y then some it will just declare it will not assign it will not have any value by default it has some value zero but we are not assigning any value there then we are calling sum is equal to let us delete this also this is equal to y sum is equal to addition x comma y so what it will return 10 plus 20 that is equal to 30 sum will be some variable will be having value 30 and now the evolution pointer will come here this function will be called print value sum is 30 so 30 will be assigned in this particular printing value then it will debug dot log will print that 30 value and then it will come here and again it will come here and whatever next statements are there it will execute that okay means after calling this function the execution pointer will come again here at the next statement if it is written so this is all about methods or functions uh, we'll complete this script uh, like a C sharp script uh, uh, lessons uh, tomorrow, and uh, we'll continue with this unity editor functionalities on Monday. Okay, no. for today it is uh, complete. I think we will continue tomorrow. This is uh, no. two days class only for the scripting, but we are extending it to three day class because it is a little new for you. So we are making it three day class. Okay, so we'll complete. No. Okay, if any, if you have any doubt, you can ask. Or uh, did you refer that uh, W3 schools? It is good uh, website. You can refer that. Like, uh, uh, if you want, uh, you can re uh, refer that for functions, methods, or for loop, while loop. You can refer that. Okay, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.